Siege of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is back on TV more than 60 years after its debut. And over at the Durham Museum, you can see the history behind the television show. To tell us more about it is Peter Gross and Dr. Ray Wynn Grant. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Absolutely. Thank you. All Happy right. to be here. Yes. Well, let's get into it. So, Peter, we'll start with you. What is it like having been on the original series and then coming back now? Well, it couldn't be more exciting yeah. for me, obviously, to have grown up watching Marlon Perkins on Wild Kingdom and then working with Jim Fowler for so many years. And then most exciting of it all, having Dr. Ray join us now for the new series. So it, 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 it couldn't be a better time in my life. And the fact that Mutual of Omaha is continuing the legacy of educating the next generation about the importance of conservation uh, right. makes us both just thrilled. Yeah. And um, Dr. Ray, what are some of your favorite stories of conservation from this new series? Oh, the new series is so good. We have endless stories of conservation, but I have to say I'm always partial to predators mm -hmm. because when we're talking about lions and tigers and bears, sometimes people think those have been done before. We've learned right. all we can learn. But in our show, we have episodes with great white sharks and wolves and mountain lions. Wow. And we're providing new information mm -hmm. on their conservation status and some really thrilling stories. That is super cool. So how can viewers do their part to conserve and protect wildlife? Well, in Omaha, you already do so much. I mean, you have one of the finest zoos in the world, the Henry Dorley Zoo. Right. And of course, people can volunteer. The zoo has volunteer projects. You can do replanting, removing invasive species, uh, being frugal about how we use our natural resources, mm -hmm. and probably watching Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom Damn. protecting the wild <laughs> on NBC <laughs> on Saturday mornings is a great way to learn. Yes, right. <laughs> so what are you most excited about in the Wild Kingdom exhibit opening tomorrow at the Durham? Oh my gosh, well I have to say, you know, Wild Kingdom began as a series in yeah. 1963, which was well before I was born. So I'm really interested in getting to know the true history of it for, you know, 61 years mm -hmm. now. I have a lot to learn, and you know, I've heard there's a little bit of us in there too. Oh, there, really? Yeah. There is indeed. Yeah. yeah. From day one, when we started working together in the desert, in the Mojave <laughs> Desert with tortoises, it was like we'd been filming together for years. We're both very like minded about the importance of mm -hmm. conservation for future generations and sharing, in many cases with our new show, positive stories about conservation successes. Yeah, and what are you most excited about seeing at the Durham? Oh, well, I like the fact you can go to a museum, young people can actually have hands-on experience. Right. I remember as a child, you would go and you weren't allowed to touch anything. Well, you can, it's a very tactile display you can feel. Mm -hmm. For an artifact, see the original film equipment, see clips from the original show, even a set of what a living room looked like in those days when people would sit there mm -hmm. and watch Wild Kingdom. So there's so much to see there. And then, of course, the new shows with Dr. Ray and the modern manner in which the shows are sought with modern technology with drones, wow. um, motion sensing cameras. It's a, it's a wonderful display. Fascinating, yeah. that's very cool. Well, I'll yeah. have to check it out. Check it out, come right. on down. Yeah. All right, well thank you both very much for joining us this noon hour. Thank you. Okay, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is produced by Hearst Media Production Group. KTV is also owned by Hearst.